participant because I'm about to finish my PhD, so I finished in six months, and I'm really interested in the industry, especially the pharma, or the drug discovery industry into the chemistry field. And when I found about this event, I thought this was like the best place for me to start thinking about what am I going to do next. I hope to learn as much as possible about the design of the library and new scaffolds, also on the point of view of companies and pharmaceutical industries. The European Lead Factory is a pan-European project with one common goal, to discover new drug candidates. It is very important for the partners that come from all over Europe to meet at least once a year and exchange ideas and learn from their achievements and their failures. We invited uh, external academic participants, a student and postdoc, to join us in the Learning and Achievements workshop in order to train them on the process of how to submit potential scaffolds, but also to present their work that they are currently working on and for the pharmaceutical industry also to see what is being done in the academic labs. So this is my second postdoc event uh, with the Lead Factory and I'm always impressed by the quality of the talks given by each of the presenters. What we're seeing is some really cutting edge chemistry and some interesting scaffolds that I know will add some quality to the Lead Factory. As part of the selection process for the external early career researchers to come onto the event, they submitted a, a library design idea. And these ideas were evaluated by an external consultant with extensive um, experience within the pharmaceutical industry. And many of the ideas that they submitted were really exciting, harnessing chemistry that's only very recently been reported in the chemical um, literature. Of course, what we really hope is that the early career researchers will now be fully engaged and will go on to submit formal proposals that will be considered um, for incorporation uh, within the European Lead Factory. Uh, really is to expand chemical space available for, for, for screening. And in order to do that, we really want to harness innovative um, chemistry that's emerging... In I gained a lot of information uh, from this workshop, especially uh, concerning about the criteria. I knew some of the six uh, criteria, but uh, I didn't uh, know what they liked most, what they reject. Uh, I have to review my synthesis because in the in some steps I had uh, some catalysts which are very expensive uh, because in academia we don't think about uh, the cost. So um, I know now that if I want to submit uh, really a, a, a library proposal, I have to review some some steps, some synthetic steps. I really appreciated some partners from industry that told me. You know, you make nice molecules, but from an industrial point of view, you should try this substrate, this substrate, this substrate. So I got a lot of useful ideas that I want to try when I get back. Chemistry remains the cornerstone of any successful drug discovery program. Um, so to sponsor excellence in synthetic chemistry uh, was an easy decision to make. <laughs> I am very, very happy because um, um, I didn't think that my work was so good, so it was a big surprise for me. From my point of view, it was a great success to see all the people talking to each other and being excited about the work that they are doing. And hopefully the ideas will result in more partnership and more collaborations and thereby maybe potentially even into new drug candidates in the future.